let's talk about where, where you are with everything. And we can go through the points and how that all works. But I want to know how you're feeling as this new year kicks off and any kind of pressure or excitement that you might be uh, having. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's exciting. Um, you know, last year was just kind of, um, you know, the announcement and uh, trying to get um, things in order, um, you know, really, you know, what are my responsibilities? What, you know, what do they expect of me? Um, I did have a really good uh, team meeting dinner in uh, at the CME and um, just kind of laid out, you know, what I expect and, um, and you know how we're going to go about this, and uh, the the girls were really receptive. I invited 16, um, and you know I don't know how it's all going to shake out, but you know looking at the points, it's pretty solid in the first six or seven, and then after that, it's kind of a crapshoot. So, um, but you know I, it, it kind of looks like my might have kind of the same team um, Meg had in in um, Colorado. So, unless you know some. You know, points doubled this year. Majors are, are doubled, so it's um, it's going to shake out a little bit. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, we, it's a long year, and there's a lot of tournaments, and things can change. So the points actually started tabulating for this upcoming Solheim Cup at the CP Canadian Women's Open, mm -hmm. right after the Solheim Cup 2013. Mm -hmm. Points are one and a half this year, mm -hmm. double in majors. Mm -hmm. Can I go back to the meeting that you had with the players? How many players were there for that meeting? Um, and, and I invited 16, and um, uh, I told them I'd pick up the tab, so they all showed, okay. which was great. That's good. Um, I, I served um, all the ones that could drink alcohol, so that's I'm getting ready for Germany because it's going to be, uh, you know, <laughs> they, they like to drink over there. So, um, no, I, you know, I just talked about, you know, we've, we've lost the last two, and, you um, you know, we're, we're the underdogs, and, um, you know, it's going to be a very tough environment. Um, the, the Germans are uh, really doing a great job on putting this together. Um, you know, we had a, um, a kickoff uh, in Heidelberg uh, last September, and thousands and thousands and thousands of people showed up. I was very impressed. Um, so they're doing it first class. But it's going to be loud. You know, we're going to be the underdogs, and um, we're going to have to come with a, a, a pretty strong spine and, and uh, not let things affect us. The points will cut mm -hmm. off after the CP Canadian Women's Open this year. You'll mm -hmm. make your captain selections as well. Is that something you get excited about as a captain, and how much do you have to pay attention this year to everybody else so if you could give us your schedule of competing and then how much you're going to have to pay attention, I'd love yeah. to know that. Well, um, I'm going to try to play about 10 this year. Um, and I'm working with Fox for uh, the USGA, so um, I'm doing seven of those. And then um, and then I'll just be out uh, maybe a couple where I'm, I'm not – you know, I don't really want to stalk the players. I mean, um, I, I know them. I've played with them. I know what they can do. Um, as far as my picks – um, I'm just going to see how that all shakes out. Uh, hopefully, it's pretty clear cut. Clear cut. Um, you know, I, I wish they'd just take 12 and I didn't get a pick. So really, yeah. I mean, I just, I, I just go why, with the team. Why so? I have. Why? Because I mean, I, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes. Um, I mean, even though you have you had two years to get in the top 10, I just, I just feel like sometimes 11 and 12 get left out, and they, they've really played pretty well. Um, so, I mean, I just, I just wish they'd just pick a team, and that's the team you have, and you go with it. Would you be saying then that you would probably lean toward... 11 and 12? 11 and 12, or picking at least one of those players on their merits of playing good golf. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, depending on... You know, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I don't want to reveal what I'm doing, but I kind of <laughs> have a little bit of a plan, and I know that's a shocker for everybody that I do have a plan, but... Uh, and it just depends on where that those 11 and 12 fit into what I'm trying to do. Everybody should know by this point that Pat Hurst is one of your assistant captains, yes. vice captains. Mm -hmm. And sitting here on this stage today, you've got another announcement you'd like to make I as do. somebody else that's going to join your team and be one of your assistants. Yes, um, I'd like to announce my uh, other assistant will be Wendy Ward. And um, I played uh, a lot of golf with Wendy Ward. Um, she's played on three Solheim Cup teams. Um, she's won four times. I'm very good friends with her. Pat's very good friends with her. I think she brings a um, calmness and um, a confident uh, attitude to the team. She's a busy bee. She'll do anything that uh, asked of us. Um, and the girls all love her. And that's the key.